Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to GSM Smart and uh, today we're going to bypass the Google verification account on Mobicell tab as you can see so first of all uh, you must select your home language and click next and uh, then if you have sim card you don't have sim card skip this option and uh, now you must connect with your Wi-Fi network I'm gonna connect mine I'm gonna put my password you're gonna put your own password Okay, I've been put my password and I've connected already with the Wi-Fi. So this is the tab I'm just showing now. Mobicell, Touch the World, something like that. The style series, I'm not sure about the button number. So if you're stuck with the Google verification account, let me just show you. Because I am stuck with the Google verification account. And uh, I can't bypass the, I can't go to the menu. So today we're going to gonna fix that because I forget my email address so I don't know what to do so now I'm gonna bypass so as you can see I can't skip this option I'm just stuck here so I'm gonna go back and to the Wi-Fi menu select Wi-Fi network and I'm gonna get the tab on add another network and write it anything I'm gonna write Google okay and then select tap on that text for two seconds until it appears like this option cut copy and share what you have to do just tap for two seconds and then it will give you these three options now click on that three dots you see the small ones and uh, now click on assist it will, it will take you straight to the google search on the google search then you must uh, say uh, it will ask you to sign in say no thanks click on no thanks and write here C okay and the C when you're gonna write the C is gonna uh, show you the application just wait uh, and uh, then the C is show you the Chrome click on Chrome tap on Chrome and wait for opening then accept and continue and uh, then say no thanks and now we have to type uh, the application link we have to use the application to bypass the google verification account so we're going to click on the search bar and type here the application link so also you're going to get in the description and also you can see right here on your left hand side and also you're going to get in the description of this video you can get it from there so i'm going to type the link and come back to you okay i've been uh, finishing writing the link as you can see this is the link i hope you can see Okay, after typing the link and you must click on go button as you can see the yellow button here click on that and download this application Okay, this is the application. Uh, that application name is FRP Bypass, and it 1.17 megabytes. So you are going to click on download and uh, update the permission. It will ask you to Chrome needs storage access. So then update permission. Click on update permission. Then click on allow, and uh, then it will ask you to this uh, blah blah blah. Then click OK and uh, wait for the downloading. And you can see the file is downloading. Once the file is downloading finished, it will show you here. So let me just wait until it's downloading finish. So it's dependent on your internet speed because my internet speed I think is low so that's why it's taking time to download. Okay, as you can see, download is finished. Give me the option for open. I'm gonna tap on open, and the download it's showing here. So now I'm going to now you must click on uh, the application that you have been download and install the application and installation blocked. Then go to setting and uh, swipe down and uh, turn it on the unknown sources option and then press OK and it will turn on and then you can tap back 
and install the application again. Click on the application and it will ask you to install or cancel. Of course, you need to install. You need to install the application. So it will ask you something like that. Google, whatever, and then accept it. And wait for the application has been installing. So wait for the installation finish. Okay, application has been installed, finished. So now I'm gonna click on open, as you can see here. Click on open and uh, then we're gonna see the, the retype password and this password because you don't know the password, then you must click on these three dots on the right hand corner and uh, then browse in, click on browse in and then click okay. And now it will ask you a email and address and the password. Uh, so you must put a new email address and the password that you have created a new password okay now I'm gonna type my email address so my email address is gsm smart zero zero one at the rate gmail.com oh I'm sorry gmail.com m a i l dot com then I'm gonna press next and now it will ask me to put your password I'm gonna put my password okay I've been fishing finish uh, putting my password now I'm gonna sign in and it will taking some little time to signing in your account the new account Okay, as you can see, it's signing in now, so just wait for that. This can take a few minutes. And after signing in, it will take you straight back to that uh, downloads menu. So just wait for signing in be patient don't be in hurry sometimes it's taking time sometimes it's fast and guys if you like this video and it, if it's helped you then you must don't forget to subscribe the channel and uh, like button as you can see as you can see the application has been installed and is signed signed in sorry signed in now it till it's, it's come back to the download menu now what you have to do you have to restart your phone press the power button and uh, restart I mean reboot the phone and wait for it to reboot finished so I'm gonna write back once the reboot is finished okay now what you have to do you have to go to the press next and uh, you're already connected to the Wi-Fi so skip this so press next it will say this can take up to two minutes so just wait for this option so now it's signing already signed in with your Google account that you have been used already so it is taking time in the first time so be patient even this side here okay now it's showing me taking too long I try to back try to um, try going back and connecting to the different networks so if it shows you like that even if it is fine but if it is signed in already then it's also fine then you can just keep it and it will show you the software updates and it will now take you straight to the Google account okay as you can see the option is that account added your first account is ready to use because you already have put it in your account 
so that account is ready now you can press next so just a second I'm eating biscuit uh, this one is taking time guys I don't know why it's to reboot so be patient don't be in hurry don't turn it off your phone while it's doing this because it can be a software problem again if you do that again so just chill relax like I'm eating biscuits so you can also eat something but it's not taking time you can continue I'll be right back once it's finished just a second but it's taking more than seconds okay it's finished uh, now you can see the account is ready it's asking me to add another account so already I had an account and then I will say not now click not now and click next and then protect the device I'm not gonna protect now you can protect protect it later in your settings then skip it then skip anyway almost complete as you can see we are in the device now without any Google verification and without Google account so this is it guys as you can see how easy is that to bypass the Google account on Mobicell tab so I hope you enjoyed and I hope it's helped you so don't forget to subscribe the channel and uh, also hit the like button if it's help you so I'll see you soon and thanks for your support before because already my subscriber is so thanks for those subscriber and uh, please also you if you are new if you didn't subscribe subscribe the channel yet please subscribe the channel now to get more video like this so see you some other guys other time Allah Hafiz goodbye